you have responsibilities and those responsibilities if you ignore like example your taxes can cost you a lot including possibly even your freedom You're so excited you found this app or you got an offer of a contract wherever it is and you want to get going but there are certain things you need to know so let's get into it so if this is not a job that they offered you and how to tell if it's a job or not a job you want to listen to something like they're saying it's a contract or they're saying it's a 1099 or when you start and you get your first payment, the taxes were not held out. All of those indicators says it is possibly a 1099 uh, contract. That means you are fully responsible for your taxes. Now you're no longer an employee. Now you are an independent business owner. You make decisions on your behalf. You choose what to do and what not to do based on your terms and conditions that you agree with, with the company that you decide to proceed. An example, I'll be talking in, like say for DoorDash, even though there's a lot of apps and you can literally do almost anything these days. And there's almost an app for anything. If not a website, not an app, then a website. But literally you can do anything these days. So let's get into it. So the first thing you want to do is figure out, is that a 1099? Is that, are you responsible for the taxes instead of an employee, employer collecting taxes on your behalf and sending to IRS and then you do uh, 1040 easy at the end of the year? Because if this is a 1099, that means at the end of the year, you will receive a, some sort of a 1099 and you will be responsible to do a Schedule C. So, in order for you to do a Schedule C, there's a couple things you need to know. First, you need to know, understand the basics of business and basics of accounting. An example, everything that is business-related, you will be, uh, you will need to, uh, create records of that and also save receipts of that because those are business deductions that you will be reported on your Schedule C. So let's say an example. Your, your contract or your gig that you found requires you to use your vehicle. You need to make a decision. Are you people having a hard time deciding that? So you can wait till the end of the year and keep records of the both. And whichever is more beneficial, you approach that way. I usually use uh, mileage. I usually use mileage because my vehicle is fuel efficient and gives me that extra savings on, on the money that I do not have to pay taxes on. Give an example. My vehicle uh, expends roughly about 30 to 35 cents per mile. But the IRS in 2021 allowed us to write off 56 cents. That means that extra 20 to 26 cents, I've been able to keep those money in my pocket without paying taxes on. So to be more, I'm not going to go into details how it is. You will have to talk to your CPA or use one of the tax uh, softwares to file your taxes. But kind of give you an idea of for you to understand what possible options are. So mileage, very important. You want to keep record. There's apps out there that uh, help you accomplish that, and they can be set up in various different ways. So definitely do some research for those. Also, you want to keep records of your expenses. Every receipt that is business related, let's say example, you have a business meeting at the restaurant. That is tax deductible. You want to keep that receipt. You want to keep a record. 
and that would fall under uh, meal uh, business meals. Let's say an example, you have a home office because now you're in a business, you need to have a place where you actually keep records of all that. You need to have a place where you actually make right now those decisions. You need to have a computer and uh, other stuff so you can log that information because now you most likely also need to be that the bookkeeper because you not you don't make enough right now to go and offer uh, and uh, uh, hire one. So you need to have a bookkeeping software. All of these expenses. Now, you know, while working in your office, you will need a printer. You probably need paper, you know, pen. Also for your business, you will need a cell phone. I would recommend you have a dedicated cell phone for your business away from your personal life. I do blow my nose. It's just like, there's no tomorrow. So you want to um, have those things, but you want to make sure that you also properly record those things. So, you know, watch some videos on bookkeeping for business. Make sure you are properly recording that information. So office expense is an office expense. Equipment is an equipment. Let's say your business requires some uh, equipment and tools. Let's say in DoorDash, you would need your hot bag, you would need your catering bag, a pizza bag, maybe a few other things that would go into your equipment. Maybe in tools, you are in construction and you are doing um, handy handiwork or maybe something else, or you know, or uh, doing remodeling. Now you have equipment, you have tools, you have letters and all that. That's also an expense because those are your business expense. Without those tools, you are not able to make a business. Mm. Not a best best time for the most. <laughs> so um, that just you know a few of the things that I just wanted to bring out, <clears throat> like on the phone. You want to have a dedicated phone and also a plan that will not put you in a situation when a peak time hits, you're sitting because your plan is being throttled and you're not able to get offers. So definitely make sure that your plan based on the gig that you choose is also will, be, will not be throttled during heavy congestion traffic on the web, on a, on a network that you can be using. So things uh, to look into. Also, you want to figure out what is your vehicle expenses. Uh, something that I recommend you to do is go find a video on my channel. It's in uh, episode two where I talk about vehicle expense. And I also talk, uh, have a uh, calculator there where you can actually uh, download and use for yourself to figure out that vehicle expense. Because without knowing your true business cost, how can you know if the gig that you're doing is profitable and worth the doing? So you need to know your true business value. You need to know how much that business is going to be paying you, that you know that gig that you're working with. You need to know what is your expenses are, and then you can get to a bottom line, the true bottom line. Keep in mind, the two biggest expenses, with, if you do not have employees, will be most likely your vehicle, possibly your tools, and taxes. Unless you're taking the gigs that uh, pay you less than uh, your expenses are, you will have to pay taxes. You also need to talk with your CPA and figure out, do you need to pay in monthly, quarterly, or you will be fine on an annually when you file it? Because there is some fees involved. So I really recommend doing some uh, searches on my channel as i will be building more information uh, on uh, being successful in gig world being uh, making the right choices and decisions and learning do some research on youtube learn your gig learn the tricks of your gig so you can be successful so remember when you found that app when you go out and you made let's say 50 bucks in three hours that doesn't mean, wow, I am, right now I can be my own boss. It means now you are your own boss. Now it means you have responsibilities. And those responsibilities, if you ignore, like example, your taxes, 
can cost you a lot, including possibly even your freedom. So you do not want to ignore your responsibilities. You want to learn your responsibilities and be successful. So definitely learn your gig, learn your responsibilities, learn your taxes, learn what it is to be now in an independent contractor or business owner and make the right decisions. And at the end of the day, it's all about the bottom line. So you do need to also know what is your expenses, what is your true cost of running that gig or that business. So in the end of the day, you are bringing in and you're making a difference in your household situ financial situation. Some people, drivers out there, they could take, grab a gig, they run, they're excited that they're bringing in two, three, four thousand dollars a month. End of the year, when it comes to taxes, they go to CPA with nothing, no receipts, no mileage log, nothing. So, what is CPA supposed to do? He files with no expenses. If you get a good CPA, he'll take an industry standard, but rest of them, they'll do. No expenses. You file, take that the app, that the tax uh, uh, app or the program that you decided to do and you decided to do with yourself because you have no expenses. You have no records of expenses. You don't put any in. Now, guess what? You will be taxed based on the full amount that you receive. I understand that is not right. That is not fair. And I just understand that. But it's not their job to keep records for you it is your job and it is your job to understand the irs code if you're not planning on hiring a cpa to do so and a bookkeeper and making sure you are taking uh, deductions that are allowed for you to be taken so keep uh, that in the record uh, that in mind and be successful and be wise as you are out there because that is the only thing that will make a difference in your life as you proceed in this new venture. I can tell you, it can be very profitable if you find the right one and you do your records properly. Be blessed and be successful.